Hello and welcome to Hacks where we try to simplify cybersecurity. Today we're looking at web applications again and we are on the final mission to hack this site.org in the realistic missions. Hack this site is a place that allows you to test out your web application hacking skills and potentially new learn new ones as well as a bunch of other challenges. Now realistic 16 wasn't supposed to be as hard as realistic 15 so the difficulties between them is realistic 15 is marked as insane and realistic 16 is marked as harder but not harder than insane obviously but the problem is because 15 or because 15 uses outdated technologies we run into issues but we'll go through that when we get to it so Simple mail. One of your best friends has a reason to believe his girlfriend has been cheating on him. He thinks that she's been sending emails back and forth with this other guy, but he has no proof for sure. Now it's your turn to show him what a valuable friend you are. I'm not sure I'd agree with that. You know, if you think your spouse is cheating on you, confront. But, yeah, whatever. I, I don't like the idea of snooping into someone's e email, somebody else's email address. Anyway, so we got a message from... We don't know his name, but... Hi, I think my girlfriend is cheating on me, but I can't find proof for it. I know she uses simple mail, and it's quite new, so you might be able to hack into it. Please, I really need to know if she's cheating on me so I can move on. Chances are simple mail will be very secure, but I believe you can do it. Uh, just in case you're stuck, I've done some researches about it and found some interesting comments in the source. Good luck. Please save a heart, if not a relationship. Oh yeah, her email is jen at, jen at simplemail.com. Don't know if you're hacking into someone's email. I think the relationship's done for anyway, but that's just my thoughts on it. Each to their own, I suppose. So let's head to the website. Uh, we get this lovely lime green decor. It reminds me of the old Casa site, uh, where you used to legally download legal stuff like songs from. Or well, anyway, so if we go on and we view the page source. And I know it's in here, so I'm not going to bother scrolling for it. But if we look here, we get this admin module login. Index.php.module equals admin login. So if we throw that onto the end, we get a login page. Now, this is where the problem lies. is because this login page, this actual portal here, is using Flash. And Flash is no longer supported by any browser. Um, so, after trying to install an old version of Firefox, trying to enable it in Chrome, using various crappy plugins that didn't work, I stumbled upon this site called Ruffle. And honestly, it saved my, it saved the whole video, because it allows, it, it's, it's Flash plugins. So, you need to right click it, save link as, and then head over to about.db, about, .db, about colon debugging and low temporary add-on you can see that I've loaded it that allows flash to run in your browser which is great because now we can do the challenge so if we head over to intercept and turn that on in burp suite and we type in test test and click login what you'll see is that it's doing a get request to config.txt to check authentication so we need to make a note of config.txt so if we forward that we can see that is then going to auth.php with test test and then we can see admin.php auth equals false because we're not authorized to view that page but we now know there is a config.txt file that it's looking at when we try to log in and then we get our unauthorized login attempt Let's hope the blue team doesn't find us. So, what do we do now? Well, since we can't log in as admin, let's register an account. So if we do test, 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 and click submit registration, you'll see the registration was successful, and now we can log in. Test, and password is test. And then we want to head over to user panel and click edit my profile. profile. Right click view the page source, 
we should see that there is uh, a form which contains edit. There we go. And if we click on edit and search for config, we can see that it's posting to users. That should be my username is bugged out for some reason. Config.txt. So we know we're in the current user, the directory of users, my name, config.txt. So perhaps what we can do is if we go to users and log out, and then we try to register a new user, we could try to register the user dot dot, because that's going to be a directory traversal up from my username, up from users to root. So we're using a directory traversal now to create a user in hopes that we can modify the config.txt to allow authentication as yes. So we do get a warning message which it says warning unable to create email address simple mail on line 56 but it does say registration was a success so we can log in. So if we go to dot dot and we type in our password we should now be able to log in and we should now be able to go to edit my profile and we can change our personal message. Now what we want to do is we want to edit the config.txt and set auth equals to true. And if we make those changes We should get a changes made successfully. Then if we head to uh, config.txt, we can see now that at auth page equals config.txt, authd equals true. So that should allow us to go to index, module, admin, login, and login as the user we created before and get access to the admin panel. Now, uh, I think it was Jen, wasn't it? So we want to check Jen at simple, what was it, simplemail.org. And if we try to check email, it says the check email is currently disabled for user privacy. Well, that's no good. If we view the page source, we can see that it's a flash file. So it's check email .swf. Now, if we, the best way I found to do this was on Linux. I tried doing it on Mac. There's a number of tools, um, but I found the easiest way was to just use a Linux distro. So I'm gonna jump into my Linux distro and get that file. See that I've done loads of different stuff, but okay. I had a few issues. Now, if I just try to w get the file at the moment, hack the site's SSL certificate is expired. So I get a bunch of errors. Well. It says error, the certificate is not trusted and is expired. So, yeah, uh, history pipe grab. So, you need to run the uh, wget with a no certificate check to get the file. And then it downloads the file. Now, I first tried using flash. M, which is supposed to be a flash decompiler, but I couldn't get that to work for whatever reason. So I use this tool instead, which is called SWFmil. And what SWFmil does is it will take the check email.swf and convert it to XML, which is perfect for what we need it to do because we want to check what is inside that flash file that's preventing us from looking at Jen's emails. So if we run that, you'll see 
that it decrypts it and then what we can do is I'll go through this as quickly as possible I'm sorry but this challenge just got the better of me um, so if we do grep dot php in test dot xml we can see there that there is a check email function which sounds like the function we want and it's showing the auth and the id and then the email equals so if we just copy that and bring that back to our main browser and paste it in hopefully let's remove that uppercase directory and I believe it was gen at simple mail is it dot com or dot org hopefully that error message is just because we bought the syntax uh, let's go back quickly and double check the email address okay so I found out what I was doing wrong and I feel a bit silly if we come back in here for some reason when I copied it out of the virtual machine yeah it's there so it's got the ampersand sign instead of the that so if we do copy this and we head back to the browser and we paste that in and then we come back here and I hope there's no other characters in there that we're gonna bugger this up and we go and gen at simplemail.com fingers crossed still not working what's going on and we get an error that says it's already been completed I'm not sure what's missing from my syntax there um, Yeah, very bizarre, it's not working. I pulled it directly from the script, but I do have a note of it before. And there's no differences in those notes. The ID's the same. The and's the same. Oh, it's because it's got a semicolon in it. Right, so. As you can see there, after and, there's no semicolon. For some reason, I've thrown a semicolon in there. So you need to remove AMP and the semicolon. And that should work. Sorry about this one. Again, it's it's an old one. Uh, Flash doesn't work anymore. I've been smashing my head against it for ages trying to get it to work. And I've just given up at this point. And it's, yeah, I'm glad it's over. But anyway, I wanted to get it uploaded. I hope you find it useful. I hope I didn't rush through it too fast. And that you can still get what you need from the video. If you find it informative, maybe give me a thumbs up. If you liked it, maybe you could subscribe, watch some of the other videos, and uh, kind regards.